Today I'm gonna do another acrylic string pull, this time with some cool orange colors. So many projects, so little time. I have them stacked up, but I wanna do one more acrylic string pull for you. I'm having a lot of fun with these trees. So this week is going to be another demo. By now there'll be three demos about how to make these acrylic string poles, and I will link above those links for you if you haven't seen the other ones. They're really fun and they're really easy, so it's a great beginner's project for you. And also, if you wanna learn how to mix and pour resin, I will add a clear coat to the end of my acrylic painting. So you kinda of get two demos in one, and stay tuned next week because I'm moving back on to my resin seascapes. I have prepped and sealed this wood and I've also taped it off. If you want to see more detail about that, be sure to check out last week's video where I go into a whole lot more detail about that. I will be sure to link everything in the description below so it's easy for you to find if you decide you want to try out any of these products. I'm putting my colors on in a gradient style and I think I have some other ideas about how to do the backgrounds but I thought I'd give this one a try and I've discovered the thicker and wetter your paint the better your trees come out so this um, Arteza ready to pour acrylic paint is great because it stays fluid for a long time allowing you to stay wet on wet as you work your project And now I use the white paint out of the same set and I put it on my yarn and I dab it with my finger so that the paint really absorbs into the yarn before moving it over onto my board and creating my trees. Now I'm using the scraper that came with my Loli Vefi craft mat just to create some smaller thinner trees.
And in true Tammy fashion, I can't resist adding a little bit of sparkle to my painting. Now we move on to the resin, and I'm using Art Resin today. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin, and I'm using two ounces to cover this board. You want to mix it really thoroughly for about three minutes or until it's completely blended. You can see there's kind of a stringy look in there. That means it's not blended. So I keep working it. Make sure you scrape the sides of your cup and the bottom of your cup and mix it really thoroughly so that your resin sets properly. And you can see that now it's completely combined and there's a lot of bubbles but don't worry about those because they'll torch those out after I spread it out over my board. And now that my resin is cured, I'm ready to remove the tape off of the sides and the back. And here is that finished piece. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you know when my next video is launched. Happy creating, everybody!